Hey, I fart in my man mouth. What's up, y'all? It's Suki with the good coochie, and right now, we with Trash Mag. Let's talk some trash. What makes someone a hoe? <laughs> Nowadays, the hoe word is very normalized. You feel me? That's a bad ass hoe. That's a thick ass hoe. I feel like a hoe is a, a woman who know what she want. A thought, thought, thought. As a bitch that's just letting anybody fuck her. She gonna get, she getting trains ran on her. She don't give a fuck. She, she the girls that you call over when you got a bunch of niggas and y'all drinking and y'all like, where, where the thoughts at? You feel me? She gonna come fuck everybody, suck everybody, and she gonna go home and she don't require enough on the hoe. It's a bitch that you might wipe up, potentially wipe up, you feel me? And you might wanna have some fun with her. You might wanna go out to the club with her. She, 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 ain't, she ain't bad. Like, she's not a bad look on your side. You feel me? You might wanna go to the office with her, give her $500 to throw, $1,000, $2,000 to throw. You gonna show her off in the club, you gonna go fuck her, but you know she got another nigga. But you gonna have fun with her while you with her. So let's start with the niggas. I would say a man that just always just wanna fuck, 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 fuck anything, okay? Anything. It don't, he don't even have no requirement, requirements. Like, he don't have a type. But it's good hoes. Like, what about the man that wanna fuck bitches, but he make sure he spin a bag on everybody. He make sure he take them out. He treat them good. You feel me? Like, when you feed a woman, she is very much more sexual. We are mean as hell when we hungry. Well, don't y'all understand? Why don't they get that part? What's your least favorite porn category? I just hate watching porn with nigga fucking hoes. Only girl on girl, because it's just like, what? Ew. My favorite probably would be, oh, okay, I put in thug, black, Thug nigga with Tim's fucks. <laughs> Black thug nigga with Tim's sleeps with petite girl. Every woman like guys that our favorite thing is the Air Force, the crispy Air Force ones and the Tim's. It's just giving masculine. It's giving, you feel me, you get money, you feel me? It just, it just, it just, it's something about it. I've, if y'all wear them Tim's or y'all, or y'all wear them Air Forces and you know how to put it on. Y'all gonna have mad woman on your dick. Do you think it's weird when a man asks you how you doing in your DM? These niggas is getting crafty. They'll go in your DM and tell you everything that your nigga ain't doing and that they can do it. Or they see you, you, you don't post your nigga like that or you, you going through it, they, they just know right away. Too many bodies. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna act like I'm better than nobody or put my, me on a higher pedestal than anybody because at the end of the day, Women have rights over their body. If you wanna fuck a man, you fuck a man. You can make him wait two days or you can make him wait 90 days and he see that pussy trash and he don't even wanna be with you. Like, it's about the vibe, okay? So if you feel like he the right one or he make you feel good and that's the man that you wanna be with or the man that you wanna sleep with, you can do it. Nick, niggas do it, you know? You ain't gotta necessarily, necessarily wait 90 days. I, who the fuck does that? I'll fuck my man in three days and look at my hand. This is this, this is a six ring that I got, okay? I had, it was, you wasn't the only one, but it was another guy that, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's women out here who, you feel me? They might fuck two niggas, three niggas in a week. Like, I know a girl who said sometimes she might fuck two niggas in one day. Cause she, she don't like her nigga like that. So, so she might fuck with this other nigga and then she go home and that nigga still want that pussy. So she got to give it up to both of them. Women is fucking. So y'all be thinking y'all have a good girl and she don't be that good. Women be trying to do so much like cause so much drama with these niggas, but these women out here is fucking. Just because somebody got money don't mean that they don't have this and this and the gift they keep giving. Women out here is really nasty. I'm just gonna tell y'all the truth. It's getting sad out here. Bitches in their 20s, probably on a, some of them, maybe 60 to 200 bodies. But that don't mean you judge them because a lot of y'all niggas fuck 30 bitches a month. All y'all is nasty if you ask me. And then bitches wanna say, oh, well, you talk about sucking dick and blah, blah. Bitch, I be talking about my man. You ask them when the last time you had sex, a bitch always gonna say three months because they feel like niggas with little dicks do not count as a body, and they do. Do you fart around your man? I fart in my man's mouth. I love to fart by my man. Bill, don't I fart around you all the time? I fart in my man's mouth. If your fart smell like grape soda, bitch, you gonna let it go. Still ate this coochie. That's, that's, that's crazy. Are your exes ops off limits? I don't even know who my exes is, like, to be honest. I wouldn't even 
consider anybody that they affiliated with. And I think, like, a lot of women, like, I feel like they'll try to get back at a nigga by fucking his ops, and that's corny as shit. When your coochie good, you do not use your coochie as revenge. Who fucks a nigga to get another nigga mad? Like, you stupid as fuck. You pussy that trash? Like, bitch, you ain't even want no money. Like, what the fuck? You ain't want no food? Why not fuck a nigga because he treats you good? Or maybe you like him. What the fuck you want? You trying to make another nigga mad? He just gonna look at you like, bitch, he really not gonna fuck with you. If you got it in you to want to fuck another nigga to make a nigga mad, that means you still worry about that nigga. Obviously, you might want to just forgive him. What's the wildest thing you seen happen in the hood? Now, I done seen some wild shit. A crackhead stole my mama antenna one time and smoked some crack with it. For real, my mama came in the house and said somebody stole her antenna to smoke crack. And I was like, wow, okay, so that makes sense because it's like a little pipe. So, it did, you know, the antenna got a hole in it. And Parkway, if y'all don't know where Parkway is, that's Broward County. That's in Broward County. The, the crackheads uh, written out the U-Haul trucks to steal people lawnmowers and shit. That's just crazy. They just go to every house to steal shit. Remember, Bill? What was one of your fears growing up? I I always been scared of little thick niggas, but now I like them. If you had to live on an empty island for a year and could only bring three things, what would it be? Hennessy, plant beans, and some Obey seasoning. Cause like, how you gonna be on the island without no Hennessy? If you weren't a rapper, what would you be doing? I think, honestly, if I wasn't a rapper, I would probably be a lawyer. And my man said he was gonna send me to law school because I love to argue. Like, I would never lose an argument. And I'm really good at investigating. Like, my friends hit me up to investigate the niggas that they potentially go talk to, you feel me? I will investigate and find out everything about this nigga from his mama to his daddy, from all his baby mamas to kids' names, who he done cheated with. Like, I just love to do it, you feel me? <laughs> no, for real, I'm the FBI, like, I, I just, got skills when it comes to interrogating. You feel me? I'ma ask you the same thing 27 times throughout the year, cause I need to see if that story gonna change. What's one thing that made you change how you look at everything? These motherfuckers is hustling backwards. All this shit is a facade, okay? These niggas be going to the club and spending their last dollar on people that's gonna talk about you soon as you get broke. And then y'all be at the club throwing all your money to impress the niggas, cause it don't be about the bitches. I be looking, like I be looking at these videos, the niggas throwing their money, and it's just like, it's really a prideful activity where you just wanna let people in the club know that you got the most money, but really, as soon as you fucked up, they're not gonna fuck with you. They ain't gonna talk about you like a dog, so those is not your friends. Absolutely not. People out here using designer as security. That don't make you a better person. The free things make you a better person, like your kindness, how you treat people, your morals, your integrity, your honorability. Being out here in these streets made me realize this shit is not what it is. Okay, so what's one thing that I always have to eat after the club? If I'm at the office, I'm going behind the office to them food trucks, I'm finna give me some Haitian food. Either I'm getting some griot, and I need some real fatty griot, cause I like the fat. It's Suki Hana, and I just wrapped it up with trash talk. Period.